I thought I'd start it old school. My okay. dearest Catherine, <laughs> oh. you make me a better person couldn't be more of an understatement. Since we met, you've been opening my eyes to the world through travel, experiencing different cultures and new beliefs. You have made, a, made me a more loving, accepting person than I ever thought I was capable of. All from your halo effect. <laughs> it's obvious why you're one of the most loved people I know. Whether that's at work, with all the, the love from kids and parents, friends, or our families, you make it so easy to love you. Jonathan, my whole life, for as long as I can remember, I've thought about my future husband. Who is he? Where is he? Is he somebody that I know or somebody I have yet to meet? And here you are. It was you the whole time. When we met, I didn't know it was you. And even when we first started dating, I wasn't sure. It's true. <laughs> but day after day, year after year, you held me, you encouraged me, you inspired me, and you loved me. You became my ultimate best friend, and I quickly realized how I didn't ever want there to be a day without you. And thank God from now on, I don't have to know. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, and truly, you truly com complete me. I can't wait to see you be a mother to our kids and a grandmother to our grandchildren. If they get even an ounce of your genes, they will be wonderful people. Thank you for choosing me to be your one. I'm elated to be marrying you, to build a family with you, and to love you forever. That was so good. I love your quirky Jonathanisms. <laughs> How funny you are without even realizing it. The way you love fiercely and deeply. How loyal you are to friends and family. <laughs> How you always strive to be the best version of yourself, challenging yourself and learning and growing. I love how I feel safest when I'm in your arms, the prettiest when you look at me, the funniest when you laugh at me, or try not to, even when we both know I'm being funny. <laughs> True. <laughs> but most of all, I feel whole when I'm with you. Individually, we're so imperfect that it's almost laughable. But together, we're absolutely perfect. And I believe that deeply. I have never been so sure of anything in my life as I am that you're my person. Thank you for choosing me, for loving me, for marrying me. I'll spend the rest of my life making sure you know how loved you really are. I'm excited to marry you and to be your wife, and I love you forever. that I knew Jonathan was the one, despite Katie consistently telling me so. But through the years, it was clear how much he truly cared for her. He is hardworking and dedicated to support his family. He always makes her laugh. I have always believed that I have been Katie's biggest cheerleader, but I can see that I am only a close second next to Jonathan. I truly believe that Katie could not have found anyone better for her. Katie, you're my very best friend. And you've been my person for the past 26 years. And it brings me so much joy to my heart to say that today you married your person. I don't feel that today I'm getting a new brother because I already know that Jonathan has been a part of our family for a very long time. Can I just say, these two have been together for so long. <laughs> Neither remembers where or when they met for the first time. Each of them said it was when they were in college at Miami University. Jonathan said, that Katie was cute, funny, and social. She was unique with her short red hair and freckles. <laughs> Katie thought that Jonathan was cute, outgoing, and she thought everyone loved him back then. <laughs> In the beginning, she wasn't crushing on him. <laughs> 
but other girls were. <laughs> Katie says that she loves the way he smiles when he really thinks he's, something is funny. She loves his ability to relate and talk to anyone, his passion when it comes to his family and his career. Jonathan loves Katie's humor, her kindness, and thoughtfulness of others. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity and more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life. And without need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There's just that moment, this moment, and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have no meaning. Katie. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen and learn from you, to support your dreams and respect our differences. I promise to cherish you, encourage and inspire you, to laugh and cry with you, and to comfort you in times of struggle and sorrow. I promise to love you when life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort, you are my best friend, my joy and my love. Today, you become my wife and I will choose you for all the days of my life. Today, you become my husband and I will choose you for all the days of my life. Because Jonathan and Katie have expressed their desire for marriage. They have pledged their fidelity before us and before God. I announce to you, they are husband and wife. Katie do. It's been amazing. It really has. I don't even know where to start with raising you with putting your long ass hair up in a ponytail every morning. Katie, I hope you continue to give John a reason to not sit at home all day and play World of Warcraft. But he can come over and play FIFA with me if you'd like. John, you're like the brother I never had. I'm truly, I'm truly honored I'm able to call you my best friend. I hope you guys continue to make each other happy and find reasons why you wouldn't want to live without the other person. So, saying that, if everybody would raise their glasses to John and Katie and a lifetime of happiness. Love you guys. You've become more than a son-in-law. You've become a great friend, which means more to me than a son-in-law. Very impressive what you've done. I understand why Katie chose you. I really truly do, because she can control the hell out of you. <laughs> but seriously, the characteristics you have run long and deep, and I appreciate it. You make my daughter happy every day, and it shows in her face. Look at her right down now. 
I am very impressed with what you've done. It's, it's been a fun road. I look for some more fun, and you better give me some damn grandkids. Katie, you found a good one, and John, I know for a fact that you're the luckiest guy in the world to, to call Katie your wife now. Um, I'm honored to stand beside you on your wedding day, and uh, I wish you guys a lifetime of laughter, joy, and I look forward to being best friends with you guys for the next 50 plus years. So, um, thank, thank you for letting me be a part of your big day. I love you both. Let's have a great night. Thank you to the Holmans and the Fishers for hosting such a beautiful event. And uh, cheers to John and Katie. So.